They are young, successful entrepreneurs. The future leaders in almost every field are in Boston right now. And they're here for the Forbes Under 30 Summit, a place for young professionals to learn and meet other innovators. <laughs> Without further ado, the man you came to see, Michael Phelps, Olympic champion. The summit kicked off the day with some star power. 23-time gold medalist Michael Phelps leading a run along the Charles River for Forbes Summit goers in cooperation with the Pan Mass Challenge. For me, it's an honor being here. You know, these guys are the people who are going to change our world and change our country. Then, about 6,000 so-called under-30s attended dozens of sessions with some of the top innovators in the country and got to have some fun on City Hall Plaza at the Summit Village while connecting with cutting-edge entrepreneurs. I think it's amazing because it brings together people from so many different industries who are all young and passionate about what they're doing. It's about creating this network around the world, these under-30s. Mike Faderly is the president of Forbes Media. He says Boston is perfect for the summit because of all the universities here and for the area's reputation as an idea center. We love the idea of Boston. What we're hoping is that over a period of years, we build a major global event here. I feel inspired to just be a better leader, a, business, a better business person. And through the networking, established and aspiring entrepreneurs can expand their horizons, their businesses, and their visions. Just today I met uh, three entrepreneurs, uh, two undergraduate students, and uh, you know, another PhD student like myself, so it's fantastic. You can learn from people who are giving the speeches and everything, but you can learn from one another. This is the first time that the summit's been in Boston. The four-day event wraps up tomorrow. A lot of brain power there. Yeah.